Welcome to the Game Reviews, where the score doesn't matter. Just like guacamole on nachos. So come be a part of the jury as we take Rise and Shine through gracious judgment. Rise and Shine is a side-scrolling puzzle shooter designed by Adult Swim Games that can be picked up for $15 for either Xbox or PC, your personal preference, and it's going to give you roughly two to five hours worth of gameplay. Now five hours may be pushing it, but some of these bosses can be a little difficult, especially with the controller. But even some speedrunners might even get it in less than two hours. And the game felt really polished and clean to me actually. The artwork felt creative and childlike, which really fits the character. The game kind of reminds me of a more sinister Kids Next Door that I used to watch as a kid on Cartoon Network. And the story? Eh, it's nothing really that special, but for an indie game, it did spark my interest a little bit. It's just unfortunate that the big plot twist of the whole game gets revealed so daggone early. Like halfway through the game early and then not getting told at the very end of the game the special item that the main antagonist Rise receives, what he does with it, you never find out. It just leaves it at that, like, oh, hey, I got this, you know, awesome, but what'd you do with it? You never find out. You can assume, but that's all. Then the voice acting in the game is pretty much non-existent. You might get some one-liners here and there, like this. Please, <laughs> do not leave your zombie friends unattended. But it's mostly just grunts and them yelling, no, in a very dramatic manner. It mostly just tells the story in the form of a comic book or graphic novel, with still pictures and text bubbles. And there's a lot of kickbacks to some old games like Mario and Duck Hunt, which the Duck Hunt is actually very fun. And it's one of the three mini games that you can play, and if you beat all the mini games, you get a cool little prize at the end. But what would a side scrolling puzzle shooter be without puzzles? It's just unfortunate that the puzzles in this game aren't really that difficult. Once you know the mechanic of the level, because each level you go through gives you a new mechanic to play with, and then the last level has you use all of them at once. The true difficulty of this game actually comes from using a controller. If you're using a keyboard and mouse, you're going to be fine. This game will be absolute gravy to you. You see, with the controller, you move with the left stick, pull the gun out with the left trigger, and then aim with the right stick. But the, what makes it so frustrating aiming with the controller and that right stick is the laser doesn't come nearly as far as it should on the map, so you're not even really sure if you're aiming in the right direction or at the right angle. Now, in all the gameplay clips that I've shown in this review, I did put all of the possible gun variations in to the footage with the regular bullets the electric bullets the remote control where you get to control wherever it goes as long as there's a signal available the explosive bombs and then the regular bullets now one of the last things I really want to talk about is the enemy variation in this game there wasn't a lot of variation with the enemies but what I thought was really cool and at least made me feel that there was a lot of thought put into it was how each enemy had a certain way for you to kill them now yeah you got your basic enemies you can kill them however you want but most of them had a specific tactic that you had to use. And that's this game in a nutshell. There's not a lot to it, and I'll give it a 478,000 just because I can't. Scores are absolutely pointless. What really matters is you as a consumer and if you feel like you're getting your money's worth or not. Everybody's going to have a different opinion. And if you do have any questions still about the game, feel free to post them down in the comments below. More than happy to answer them for you. And until next time, you take care, have a good week, and always remember, game with grace.